X Portal 3000 Hardware Setup Guide Using New Controller Wizard. In this step, you are going to log into X Portal 3000 server and client. Run your X Portal 3000 server configuration manager. X Portal 3000 server configuration manager window will be display. Click on the start button to start the X Portal 3000 service. Click yes to continue. Click OK if you already plugged in the USB dongle or running a free edition. You can see at the system status if the startup is successful. Run your X Portal 3000 client. X Portal 3000 client window will be shown. There are two default system user for the system. Please enter user ID and password. Click OK. You are successfully logged into Sportal 3000 client. In this step, you are going to use the new controller wizard. Click on new controller wizard button. A controller wizard window will be shown. Click next to continue. Choose the model number and fill up the code and description. Set the unit number according to your controller. Click next to continue. The next step is to configure connection settings. To create a new connection, tick the create new connection. Choose the network type. Define the code and description. Make sure the remote IP address is the same with the controller's IP address. Click next to continue. In this step, user will configure the door settings. Define the code, description and is attendance capturing door. Choose the reader type between MicroEngine A10 or standard Wigan 26-bit. The TTL settings should remain default. In this step, user will assign the door access to the staff. You can tick the All Staff checkbox to assign the door access or choose the selected staff only. Click the middle button to move the selected staff. Skip this step if you do not have any staff yet. Skip this step if you are not using any alarm panel. 
check the summary of the settings before saving the settings. Click next to continue. All settings will be saved and downloaded to the controller. After you have completing the controller setup window, you can view the summary or test the connection. You can view the status of the controller in device list tab. You can check the status of the controller and door is up. You have successfully completed the step to set up hardware using new controller wizard. We would love to hear your feedback about this video. Let us know. At microengine.net slash support. You also may find us on Facebook, YouTube and Google+. Thanks for watching.